Moving on to the next item, which is uh, item 13, which is report on transportation and planning activities. Alan? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. And I'm simply going to ask if there are questions about our planning activities. I only have one that I want to highlight to you just uh, for your information, and that is that um, uh, EPA has acted on a new standard for ground level ozone. It does strengthen that standard, which of course means it will be tougher to meet. Uh, this process for moving the standard forward uh, will take several major steps over the next few years, and we will keep you apprised of that. The next major step will be EPA uh, designating specific areas of noncompliance with this standard, putting them into various categories that, that represent the severity. Uh, from that step forward, uh, we would see our state air quality agency, the Texas Commission, um, on, um, in, on the environment, uh, move forward with revisions to state air quality plans. One thing I will say of note is that uh, the San Antonio area, under the current standard, will be designated as non-attainment. It will also be non-attainment under the new standard, which is tighter. Um, that may um, mean that some of our congestion mitigation air quality funds get, pa get passed around a little bit more in the state of Texas, as uh, they will need to develop plans to reduce their um, vehicle emissions as well. So we will keep you apprised of any changes uh, going forward in the uh, standards and, and what those may mean. Okay. Any other announcements? Under the announcement section, I wanted to highlight uh, the upcoming 7th Annual Harris County International Trade Transportation Conference. You have the brochure and the agenda. I'm, I assume that there's still an opportunity to get registered for that event if you'd like to attend. Many of you, I know, are regular attenders of it. It is a great opportunity to hear about uh, what's happening in the world of freight, not just here in our backyard, but uh, across the, the world. And then secondly, we had some pretty significant discussions about the Texas Freight Mobility Plan. That plan in its um, draft form has been released by the Texas Transportation Commission. Uh, although we have already provided comment to them on the draft plan, I wanted to make sure you knew there was uh, still a window of opportunity uh, if you wanted to make any further comment on the plan. Uh, that that uh, window of opportunity extends through November 9th. And Mr. Chairman, that is the end of my remarks regarding you. Anyone at the council want to discuss any other items? Seeing none, meeting adjourned.